Morning guys, um, it's national week here in Chengdu so we are taking advantage of the city being nice and quiet to go on a mini adventure. We are headed today to see Tianfu Greenway which is a massive green infrastructure project um, set to encircle uh, all of Chengdu over the coming years. Um, so we're really excited to go check it out, what they have built so far and we've got ourselves a little challenge today which is to only cycle on green infrastructure. The dogs are pretty happy. We've got Choach here, Momo over there. So we'll check in with you later on. Okay, bye. Bye. We set off along the Jinjiang Riverways, a network of 2,000-year-old artificial canals which provided irrigation, transport and drinking water to the city for centuries. Known as the Mu Qin He, Mother Rivers of Chengdu, they were reforested in the 1990s.
so this beautiful lake is um, called Shengxian Hu, which means something along the lines of rising to immortality lake and it's based on a Shu kingdom emperor called Yu Fu Wang who um, ascended to immortality uh, by the Shengxian River um, I think maybe riding on the back of a tiger or with a tiger I'm not quite sure it's a pretty beautiful lake it's actually uh, an artificial lake that was made during a water diversion project for a subway station. So, um, <laughs> legendary name, uh, somewhat, uh, I don't know, somewhat practical origins. Good girls. Chinese cities are always expanding, and it's easy to forget that often the area you're standing in was farmland just a few years ago. Passing through this district was both eye-opening and surreal. Watching village life commence and people still trying to grow crops as the luxury apartment towers seem to be advancing towards them. Kids bottle flipping, standard. Oh, look at the mahjong. That guy's ripped. sunset and we just arrived at the uh, Chengdu eco zone and um, the entrance was like the entrance to a theme park I just had like hundreds of really hectic kids everywhere and a massive sign that said no dogs um, so we're looking for another stealthier entrance um, okay that looks the same can't really see that but yeah it also says no dogs so we just found this little grassy verge by the side of a road and I think this is our place of rest tonight. So we've decided that we're not defeated, we simply withdrew tactically. So we're back, it's two weeks later, um, it's a lot colder now. And, um, yeah, we just got in without the dogs. A little bit gutted because we were looking around and I think there's a lot of places we could have camped if we managed to sneak in. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit mad. Um, there's kind of random speakers everywhere playing music and uh, sort of security cameras everywhere. Um, it's a pretty typical urban scenic spot. Um, but yeah, pretty interesting. Apparently we can cycle all the way around the lake, so let's give that a try now.
Qinglong Lake is the largest artificial lake in Chengdu, and judging by the crowds, seems like a popular getaway for urban residents. The busy, manufactured atmosphere was pretty distracting at first, but after cycling away from the crowds, we got to appreciate the impressive scale and the sight of nature taking its own course. That took a lot longer than we thought to cycle all the way around. This lake is really, really big. It's around 4,000 mu, which we calculated is roughly 24,000 acres. And it's really impressive seeing the scale of it and seeing all the different types of people from all walks of life using this place as a place to get away from the city and enjoy nature. It's especially impressive when you consider that it's part of a wider initiative to encircle all of Chengdu in a green belt known as the Tianfu Greenway. But of course, as with anything performed top down and at scale, there's always going to be impacts. And we couldn't help but wonder while visiting this place what the land was used for before and who was living on it. I'm uh, ready to go home. How about you, Tams? Yeah, I'm good. I'm cold. I want some needs. Some what? Needles. Oh, good. All right. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>